Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, I've been on the hunt for the perfect backup camera for this Airstream, and I think I might have found it. Remember, if you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. So the camera is by a company called Auto Vox, and it's the Solar 4 version. Now, uh, I, tr I had the Halo View camera that was sent to me. I was trying to install it. I was running into issue after issue after issue, not saying anything negative about Halo View. Someone else might have great experiences with them. I just couldn't get it to work properly. So I kept on hunting, and I looked for a couple other ones. I did a license plate mount one it didn't reach so now we're trying this auto vox solar camera it's got great reviews i will put a link in the description below to where you can buy it on amazon but let's go ahead and get it installed first things first we got to get inside big booty judy here because we got to install the monitor system so let's get in all right we got to go ahead and get this monitor set up so let's take a look inside the box so first things first this i purchased with my own money no one sent this to me i did my own research and was looking around and came across it now uh, i did already take the camera out and i charged it via usb because again this is a solar powered camera so uh, i needed to give it a full charge first to get this install done and to get us started right, right off on the right foot so under the monitor which as you see has this nice little uh, visor on top we got this little bag so let's go ahead and get in here and we're going to get uh, the ball joint on here and then it looks like there's the dash mount here. We got some cords, some other mounting stuff. But first things first, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing mounted up on to the dash. Um, so let's, let's figure out where we wanna put it. So I have the antenna for the monitor and we're just gonna go ahead and screw that in the top there. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this mounted to our dash piece but first i'm going to center it and see exactly where i want it so here's the conclusion i've come to for me uh th this just tightens up by the way this is not loose like that you just tighten it it's on a little ball joint so you can put it anywhere um for me if we were traveling full time still or um, even just nearly as much as we were the past few years i would probably permanently mount this thing right up here and have a nice little spot for it and be good to go however because of my current travels and what i need i think what i'm actually just going to do is i'm just going to set it down here and when i'm using it for the backup camera i can look at it um, otherwise i don't really want to put another thing up on my dash um, to block anything um, i'm just not going to be using it as nearly as often as uh, prior so i'm not going to permanently mount it however uh, this is just a little 3m double-sided uh, mount that is flexible so it's pretty much universal to any dashboard and then it has little grooves in case you wanted to actually secure it in place and of course you can do that in a number of different things you can mount it all sorts of different ways um, but again for me i think i'm just going to leave it loose and just kind of set it down down here because that's just for me and my use so that's all I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna have this kind of sitting here, resting here. Um, that way I don't have to worry about it. And it's just a nice little plug that it comes with that then goes to the car adapter, which has its own little USB and looks like a headphone jack on it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing turned on and let's make sure that the camera is paired up. Okay, so I literally just um, turned the truck to on and the camera automatically came on. Um, it, uh, look at that. It automatically came on the camera instantly connected. Um, so, so far pretty, pretty easy setup. Um, now my next thing is to actually mount the camera somewhere. Um, I have an idea of where I want to put it on the back of the RV, but we're going to do a little bit of digging and, uh, let me just show you what else comes in the box because it comes with a few different things. So obviously the, uh, antenna for the screen i showed you putting that on it has another antenna for the camera itself and it also comes with an antenna extension cord uh, i'm not sure how long this is maybe 10 to 12 feet is my guess uh, i'm obviously not going to install that first i'm going to try and see if i don't need it but uh, with the aluminum airstream it is possible that i'm going to need it because i think that was one of the one of the drawbacks to when i was trying out these other cameras was this is not um 
super thin plywood um, like typical travel trailers are. You know, Airstreams are metal and signals don't go through metal nearly as easily uh, as they do go through that extremely thin wood. So uh, that's just my theory. We'll see how, how true it holds. But uh, let's go ahead and try and find an actual home for this thing on the Airstream and what's going to give me the best overall angle if I want to mount it high, kind of midpoint. I think I'm going to put it right above the license plate is my running theory. But let's go ahead and try and get the camera itself installed. So the camera okay, has a mounting plate on the back of it already. It's held in there by four screws and it's just flat. Now it also comes with this option right here, which obviously you would just undo these four screws that gets mounted to it. And now you can mount this to like the, the top of your roof. Um, but it, you know, if, if this was mounted on there up at the top of the, on top of your flat roof, you can still angle it down, um, which is hard to do one-handed. Come on, there we go. So, you know, you can, you can angle it down from the top of your flat roof of a regular travel trailer. Um, but again, I think for where I'm putting this, it's gonna make most sense to do it flat because I think I'm gonna put it underneath the license or right above the license plate. But uh, just wanted to show you guys that, that again, this AutoVox system comes with several different options, several different mounting options, several different antenna options, um, just right out of the box. And the other thing to talk about too, just real quick, is that the monitor system is capable of two cameras, okay? Now, so this is not gonna be the, the proper thing for every single person. This is great for smaller travel trailers, in my opinion. Anything bigger than like what I have here, about a 30 foot travel trailer, um, I highly recommend the Furion system. It is an amazing system. You can do the side markers, rear camera, door camera, you know, four cameras in one system. It's great, but it's expensive. Um, this kit, um, I, I don't recall the price right now. I'll go ahead and put it up in the corner uh, and then I'll put it again, a link in the description below to where you can buy it. But it is great bang for your buck for the price that it is. But anyways, just wanna show you that stuff. So let's go ahead and get this thing mounted. All right, you can see that the camera right now, aside from my Pringles can, um, is showing uh, an image, okay? That image is coming all the way from the front of the RV, okay? I have the RV about uh, 25, 30 feet away from my truck right now, and then it's on the front side of that. So right now I'm, I'm over mocking how much space there would be between the truck and the camera at any given time. So, um, so far, range seems pretty good with just the regular antennas. And this is exactly why it's great to have options. I was <clears throat> just uh, basically trying to mock up this camera and figure out just exactly where I wanted it here on the back of the Airstream. I tried it up high, but I couldn't get it out far enough to really clear this uh, guard of the, of the rear um, awning. And uh, so, I, while I could still see behind me, I, I didn't know exactly where the rear bumper was at. So I didn't really like that. So I put it here just above the license plate um, on the regular mount. And um, it was just really close to the actual license plate like light, you know, just right on top of it. And so that's why, again, it's really nice to have options because as you see, I put on that little bracket that I was showing you earlier that I didn't think I would need. Um, and it just helped to protrude it out far enough um, to really give me a nice, good, wide view of the ground back here. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. I just have it using some 3M double-sided, um, you know, the easy remove 3M stuff, um, just mocked up there. But I think that's where I'm going to mount it. I'm going to screw it in there. But let me show you what the camera is seeing right now so you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about. So you can see that I basically have it where you can just see the rear bumper right there in view, but I tested it by putting that ladder, which now the cat is at, um, just on the side of the RV. And so you can see where that ladder is at back there. It's something that I would likely see in my rear view mirror, but I didn't know how close I would be getting. So it's a nice, very wide angle. I can see all the way to the edge there. So, uh, so far so good. I'm pretty happy. Let's go ahead and get that thing secured onto the Airstream itself other than just 3M. So it came with four self-tapping screws and uh, that's what I used. I just went ahead and used those four self-tapping screws. Now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of silicone and I'm gonna go ahead and just put a very nice, very thin, clean bead around that. I'm actually gonna back out each of these screws and run it in with a little bit of silicone as well. Okay, now that I got the camera uh, mounted. I got the silicone on my screws and everything. Um, last thing is this little security Allen screw um, with with a little Allen key. Um, it basically goes right in here at the top. 
if I, sure if you can see that right yeah you can see it right there um, and that basically will prevent anyone from just being able to just lift the camera up off the mount so i'm just going to go ahead and get this in here and then we're going to get the solar panel on it all right so now the last thing like i said is just to get the solar panel which is just a 3m tape it goes right on top of the camera itself and it has a usb on it that then plugs into the bottom side of the camera just like the usb to uh, initially charge it so that's all i'm gonna do is 3m this thing and route the cable right through this little thing down and around and plug it in that's it <laughs> it just like i said just 3m on and then i just got the cable kind of routed down and up under and then plugged in right there and uh, so now i'm going to go ahead and get back in my truck and make sure that my alignment for the camera tilt is good and that's that's really it like i said that's really it for the install now uh this is no real-time testing yet so what i'm going to do is this next week i'm going for a trip and i'm going to be using it quite often i'm moving around every one to two days so i will be using it very very often so uh, i'm going to go ahead and add on here at the end of the video um the experience that i have with it maybe some live action shots so let's see what we get over the next week camera's live back there with no real issue uh going 65 down the highway so with the airstream attached back and into a site um, yeah, the picture is nice and clear and I can see everything that I need to with no issue. That's it for this week's video. Thanks again for watching Why Not RV. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, drop a comment below. We'll see you next time. Bye.